to Sensational. Uh, who put the Mary in Merry Christmas? We have a fabulous show today. I have wonderful guests. We have a lot to cover. And I thought it would be nice if we get just a little of who put the Mary in Merry Christmas. And we have David Shales, who's going to sing it for us. So let's get right in with the spirit. Okay, David, are what, we ready? Is, was David here yet? Should we start before he gets here? He might get very mad. And if we start it, I'm going to stop. But if he comes back, please I'll, don't okay, tell I'll him. let you know. This is his pride and joy. Okay. Don't tell him I'm playing okay, it. Okay, I'll right. let you know. Well, it's time to decorate my Christmas tree. I got so drunk I couldn't see. The lights are crooked, kind of like a riddle, and somehow the angel landed up in the middle. The dude keeps that stone by the dog next door, and the cat drunk the eggnog, and he's drunk on the floor. So who put the Mary in? Merry Christmas, I wonder who you are. I, I don't think I put that snowman in my neighbor's yard. I hope he, he's not coming back yet, is he? No, no, no. Home is a disaster zone, but I'm still full of cheer. Cause Christmas is my favorite time of year. Yeah. Okay, David. Hey, okay, if he comes back, don't tell him I did that. Right? Okay, I'll let you know, definitely. Anyhow, these are our guests today. David who sang, David Shells. I guess I okay, have to then to I have Annette Tucker on my left, and then I have Ron Colbert on my right. Okay? So, you're doing a musical video mm. of Who Put the Merry and Merry Christmas. I know you're working on that. And you showed me a sneak preview, and it's hilarious. It's really funny. It's When it's going to be done, it's going to be very, very good have great characters in it. <laughs> it's hilarious, and that's the way it should be. I like to see that. Um, what I want to ask you is, how did you people get together? Who who got together first, or who was... I did this it? all. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The well, cog of the wheel right here. <laughs> I was doing another video, Okay. and I needed somebody to produce and direct and shoot the video, and I asked around, and Ron's name kept coming up, and I called him. To a client? To and the him. rest is history. <laughs> <laughs> you did a great job. Thank you. Well, you know, it's... Well, I had a lot of help. I mean, the, everybody, David, and, of course, Nadia, and Nadia Sahara, and uh, as well, uh, everybody else. And Nat was in it. Yes. <laughs> And uh, her ex-husband, Maury. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. As well as a couple girls. Uh, what were the girls who we had? Um... <laughs> I forget, that's it. We didn't write the that's names down. That's we didn't write it. Lena and Courtney. Down. Lena and Courtney. Yeah, there you go. Yay. Yes. <laughs> but, Lena and Courtney. But what's good is that you all got together and you worked together and you made it happen. This is hard when you have a lot of people and you're working on a project. As we know, right? We shot it's it. It's difficult. In, we shot it in two days. Okay. Literally is, a day and a half. Is that a normal no. for a video, a musical video? Mm -hmm. I mean, what is the normal time limit on that? What uh, is it? I don't know on that. Could take, you know, three, four, five, maybe a maybe a three or four, or five days a week uh, during a week, um, or it could take a, could take uh, I don't know, I don't know, okay. probably about a week would be nice. How long do you think it would take for me to get that song right, though? <laughs> it's going to take a couple more months. I'll, I'll get it. I'll rush out. Don't worry about it. As Christmas is coming soon, I'll be there. You're full of cheer. That's, that's, that's right. what made it work. Yeah. Sometimes I you're just full of beer title. and full of cheer. That yeah. title is like, hey, who put the Merry Merry Christmas? I love that title. How did that come about? Because titles are so important. Some titles are... Well, well we have two. We have two titles. Yes, we have two titles. One is for people who will get upset... <laughs> over who put the Merry and Merry Christmas, and the other one is Christmas is my favorite time of year. I remembered. <laughs> yeah. So it's, 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 you know, I don't know. We, we, I think it's more about what, we're not sure what the market's going to like. Okay. All right. So it's kind of a... You're feeling your way. That's gonna, hard. Yeah. That's really hard. So you think some people maybe would be maybe 
offended a little bit with that because Christmas to some people is very solemn. Yes. And it's not a funny very time. Very serious. And yes. Serious. We want. I wanted to do something funny. That's how I wrote my lyric with Ron. We wanted to do something really funny, and uh, that struck us funny, and we laughed. Didn't we laugh as we were doing this? Yes. <laughs> we're still laughing. Great words. <laughs> I know. I was talking to her. And what she was telling me, she was laughing all the time. <laughs> every minute she was laughing, 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 and everything. So now David, how did David come into the picture through Nadia? Yes. And your, your David friend? is hilarious. Oh, okay, I can say this. I can say this. There was a log out in front of her apartment, and some day she turned it over, and there I was, <laughs> there uh, under go. the log. And Under ever since, log. it was a Yule log. With your leopard yes. outfit on. And she's been wonderful to me ever since. Oh, mm -hmm. That's great. That's great. He is the best. Made me laugh the whole time we were shooting, right? We were all laughing. Absolutely. He's, he's great he's humorous. That's the main thing about David, too, and everything. And I wish we could see this. We have a picture of a video here. Maybe we could show it later. I don't know, but... David's on in the well, video. It's going to be online. It's going to be on the channel. It's going to be on. Uh, You're going to put it on YouTube. Ron Cobert, R O N C O B E R T, the YouTube.com forward slash Ron Cobert. As well, Nadia Sahara is going to post it. We're going to have Annette post it. It's going to be all over. Yeah. Okay. And you'll post it on your you'll site. You'll post it. Okay, now how right. about, of course, mm -hmm. O O V Live.com? That's oh yeah, live. Yeah. Oh yeah, live. Okay. <laughs> That's your As opposed email, to that. right? And then you have the Shining Productions. Shining Productions. Well, no. Oh yeah, live is uh, is a media and tech company. So we we produce um, campaigns that uh, enhance uh, people's uh, business and everything from. Commercials to uh, events, and events <laughs> and uh, web solutions, the whole okay, deal. Okay, okay. So that sounds great. Now, this young lady, I know, loves to do her parodies. Okay, and uh, could you give us just a couple examples of a couple of them? I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> so I, I know she was I, waiting I, for I me. I brought to this with me. I typed them. <laughs> okay, and you have your glasses. And You're I have my ready. glasses. That's right. <laughs> okay. Well, wait, wait. Excuse me. Before you begin, this is very hard to do. This isn't easy, like some people might think. So, how long have you been doing the parodies? How long? Well, I did them. I did them uh, about maybe 15 years ago for Premier Radio, and. Uh, well, that was like the highlight of my career. How did you get into that? It How was, was that? funny. Well, Janice Liebhardt was a friend of mine who is a writer and singer, and she was working for them, and she brought me in. Uh -huh. She said, this is fun, do it. So it took me like a few times to get what they were doing because they did, you couldn't just write a parody, you have to. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we see you in there. See? Okay. <laughs> You miss me laugh. Um, you couldn't just write anything. It had to be for occasions. So okay. I, the one I brought was for Christmas. Another one was uh, for um, summer. And the other one was we did things in between, too. Okay. So I love doing it. And well, that's what is the gist of a parody? So people would know out there. What exactly is a parody? It's a silly version of making fun of they're funny to start making with. Making fun of reality. Yeah. Okay. Making yeah. fun. Okay. So, and and you try to pick things that people will relate to. So I hope I did that. Well, I, I think I did. <laughs> well, they were recorded, so. <laughs> do you okay. want me to do them? Okay. Please. Acapella, but. Okay. Okay. Here we we have no orchestra here. Okay. <laughs> this is Christmas stuff is getting marked down. And it's Santa Claus is coming to town. <clears throat> you better watch out or you could get pushed, dragged on the floor and banged on your tush when Christmas stuff is getting marked down. They'll grab at your clothes, yank at your hair, run over your toes. It's a battlefield there when Christmas stuff is getting marked down. That's just a little bit of... <laughs> Yeah. Okay. She got the words right and she got the music right. 
Twice the man I am. That's because I had him in front of me. <laughs> okay, I love you. Your... <laughs> okay, this one was, um, you didn't have to be so nice. And this one um, is, you didn't want to pay full price. You didn't want to pay full price. So you went to the bargain place. The cheaper tissue, it looked nice, but almost sanded off your face. Their toothpaste didn't clean your teeth at all. It plastered cracks and puttied up the wall in your hall. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And the last one is Pretty Woman, which everybody knows. And this is called Sweaty Woman. Oh. <clears throat> sweaty Woman with your bad sunburn, Sweaty Woman. You forgot to turn, sweaty woman. You're burning up your skin today, and pretty soon you'll be flambéed. Mercy. Mercy. Sweaty woman, all that sun made your black mascara run. You look like a hit and run to me. Sweaty woman, you drove far with the top down on your car. Your face looks like steak tartare to me. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Mercy. I love that one. I love That's that one. one. Mercy. You know, I, you were, Mercy. <laughs> you were singing the others to me and I picked one of the others, but I, I like that one the best. Well, I have 150 you if you'd like to hear them. <laughs> that, 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 that. Next show. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, doing these parodies, I mean, it's nice, you have fun, and you make money at the same time, and you laugh, and yes. so you're getting so much fulfillment of yes. what you're doing. Yes. I mean, you're hysterical with your parodies. You do other work. I mean, she writes tons of music and everything, but nothing like this. I yeah, mean, this was fun, and this, and, and, and I, I used to sit and laugh all day. <laughs> <laughs> it was easy though, you know that. I laugh at all the time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and yeah. then she has a friend in England who she talks to every day, and she passes this on to him. <laughs> then he laughs at the same time, uh -oh. so it travels. <laughs> it travels all the time. Now, David, I'm, I'm David, here. tell me some more about <laughs> yourself, great, please, uh, David. No, I know you're a singer, you're a comedian. <laughs> um, tell me a little bit about yourself. I think the people would like to know. Well, um, in the next election, I'd like to be Pope. If possible, I have a name. I'm running under the name uh, Pope Nothing But Trouble. I don't think it's been used before. Okay. Um, and uh, other than that, I just these are jolly good folks that uh, just keep a silly man like me around, and they feed me sometimes, and they give me pats on the back, and they're just wonderful folks. That's all I can say is couldn't find anything better. Under the log I came from, it was nothing like this. These people are wonderful. How did you get into, let's say, showbiz entertainment? What? Uh, motivated you? What type of feeling? Or did someone give you some direction? Actually, my mom tried to use my ADD to uh, the best advantage because I had ADD so bad I had ADD and HD. I had ADD, <laughs> HD, and HD. And so she would never turn on the radio. She would just pretend. And she would say, David, what do we listen to? And at six years old, I would say, well, this is Michael from the BBC. And after this afternoon, we're going to have a whole bunch of brand new things for you. And she would say, OK, well, let's listen to the Three Stooges. And so she pretended to turn on another station. So I just go and go and go and go. And so she realized that uh, um, I can't shut this kid up, so I might as well take advantage of it. OK, if you had any other profession to choose from, would this be the only one? Oh, no. I would uh, um, want to be a worldwide evangelist. <laughs> Absolutely, that's the truth. That's not a, a robot. Uh, Absolutely. Okay, and get out what to the public? Uh, um, oh, I just believe in the Word of God. I believe in the Bible, and I just think uh, this time of year is a wonderful time uh, to celebrate it. And uh, I like seeing uh, Jesus be in Christmas, my own self. So okay. that's my Merry and Merry Christmas. Okay, all right. <laughs> Getting back to this gentleman now, mm -hmm. what prompted you to get into the business, Ron? Uh, I think it was uh, Kathleen Turner. Kathleen Turner? Kathleen wow. Turner. Well, I was at college at University of Maryland, and she showed up and uh, to, to give us a, I was in, a, I was in the uh, uh, marketing, and I was studying to be a lawyer. I was doing a bunch of things across the board, but in my performance arts 
class, the elective or whatever you call uh -huh. it. Um, it's been so long ago, I can't remember. What oh, that's what not so long ago. <laughs> not that uh, long. You're too <laughs> young. And she showed up and she talked about Hollywood. I was in Maryland at the time. I went to University of Maryland, then I went to ASU, but at that time I was at Maryland, okay. and she showed up, and it just she talked that, and I got to speak to her for a moment, and she she inspired me to, to move west, and um, and that uh, was uh, and that was the beginning. That was the start, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh boy! I figured if I could work with somebody like her, amazing woman though, very talented, yeah. Yeah. very talented. Okay, so you came here and... Well, actually, I went to ASU, okay. and then I met the Cohen brothers, and I got to work with them. Oh, wow. Wow. So, yeah. um, that was Raising exciting. Arizona and uh, Blood Simple. Wow. Uh -huh. I worked with them on that, so it was, it was fun. And then from there, it's been a worldwide tour. It's been a blast. Yes. Okay. Yes. If I, d I don't know if you have any children, or do you have any children? I have no biological children. Oh, okay. Why well, I'm asking that, say, if you had children, and if one of your children wanted to go into the business, would you encourage them to go into the business like well, I, you did, or what? You know, it's funny you say that, because I have, I have two stepdaughters. Okay. Okay. And, um, and I, I, and one of them is, started to do a little work in the business, and I'm kind of torn. Because, but she's very smart. She could be that classic actress that, uh, that like a could, character actress. That, that, more well, less. she's pretty too, so uh -huh. she could be. But she's very young. She's only fourteen. Very sharp, straight A's. But I, st I'm kind of torn. I don't know. I don't know. If but if she has know, the passion. But if she has the passion, I, you can't hold back anybody. You gotta have passion, and that's it. And if someone stops someone. If they have the passion, it's really strong. Mm -hmm. You don't want to do that, right? No, no, Definitely no. not. Well, look at your passion too. Definitely. How did you get into the business? This is a story, right? This is a story because from an accident, an automobile accident. Listen to this oh, one. Uh -huh. And uh, I couldn't. I had my jaw wired, so I. I <laughs> he stole my. my Nikki wanted he to wants his uh, <laughs> antlers. <done. laughs> Um, there was a girl living next door to where my husband and I lived that wrote songs. And I was always musical and always from grammar school. Everybody said, you're going to be a great singer. And I wrote and I directed and produced Snow White, <laughs> I remember. And uh, while I was recuperating, one day somebody knocked on my door by mistake. And it was a songwriter. And he was visiting the girl next door. Mm -hmm. And uh, we st became friends. Al Hazen, very good friend of mine. And uh, he, I told him, I said, I would love to write songs. And he said, I'll teach you. And he did. Oh, I didn't know he was the one that started you. Yes, he did. He was my mentor. Yeah. And uh, I started writing. And of course, when I first started writing, I was writing show tunes. And I didn't know the difference between top 40 and show tunes, so I would go in <laughs> singing these songs, because at that time, we would come in and snap our fingers and have the sheet in front of us and sing, you know, and they must have said, get her out of here. <laughs> so how were you, how long were you laid up when you started doing Months. this? Months, months. Wow. But then uh, yes. I got to a, a company called Four Star Music, and uh, they, said, they said, we see something in you, y you have a talent, you just don't know what to do with it. So I um, met somebody there, my partner that I've written most of my hits with, Nancy Mance, who is not with us anymore, but she was the one uh, that wrote I Had Too Much to Dream with Me, which is my kind of my calling card. <laughs> and from there, it just escalated. Yeah, it did. Annette uh, has written so many great songs and so many top records. And then uh, with the electric prunes in the, what, 70s or what was that with them? How in the late 60s. Late 60s. Frank Sinatra. Oh, uh, she, with Nancy Sinatra. Nancy Sinatra. And she did all of that, uh, yeah. Michael yeah. Jackson even. Yeah. yeah. She has the Michael Jackson album mm -hmm. out too. Two songs in there. Yeah. And that's very shy. And believe it or not, I've been doing the show on uh, <laughs> Channel 36 here for close to eight years. Could never get her on. Never, never, never. So this is the first time. So 
I'm trying to pull this out of. I did right it. Now. I, I think you you got to put the antlers on. That's going to loosen you up. You're going to go free. You're going to, you know. Okay. <laughs> oh, Ron, did you know what uh, I want to bring up? The one song of hers that she wrote with Nino Tempo, yes. the one with the NFL. Yes. She got a call Sunday. one day. And who called you? A uh, Nancy. No, his, uh, uh, April. 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 Nino's sister. Sister. And she heard this song, right? Right. On... NFL, yeah, the football thing. They yeah. were playing their song, and I didn't know anything about it. Wow. Nothing. It's amazing. And a song that they chose from years ago, and it was very nice. I was it? Found how did, out. How's it go? Feeling kind of Sunday, but Nancy. Feeling kind of. Kinda, yeah, sing it. Hum it a little bit. Oh come God. On. Come on. I have no paper. <laughs> Let's see. Hey, little sunlight. Gonna outshine your bride. I just stepped out of her heart where I spent the night. Don't you know that it's gonna be a thousand and one day? And I'm feeling kind of Sunday. Feeling kind of Sunday. That's all you get. <laughs> I love Feeling that. Kind of sunny. So you never know That's the nice. business. It's strange how yeah. things come up and, and music. Forty years and, old the song yeah. is lying in a drawer. And you had another one with a commercial, I think. A, a song came up. Well, I had too much to dream is running in London right now for a first direct. Yeah, and bank. when did you write that? Well the that's like in the, the late sixties, yeah. Mm. Well, the thing I'm most excited about is this video. And Ron, I've seen a little bit of it, and Ron has done a fabulous job well, with it. Well, he's very talented. Oh, He produces, wow. he directs, he writes, and, and everything like that. And I'm the bossy one that I am. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't understand because he was cutting the back with the front. <laughs> and I thought, well, how is this going to turn out? But God, it's amazing. I can't wait till it's up. That's good editing. He's, he gets to edit, but I call all the time. <laughs> well, you're going to make it viral, like uh, she called me and she said, oh. I want you to listen to this I sent it video to that's out, and it went viral. Well, there was a lot of... <laughs> I, uh, yeah. <laughs> sexual how, how, innuendos. How could we tell that on the air? Sexual how, innuendos. You, sexual innuendos, but the right. girls were cute. Oh, the girls were hot. And it was done professionally. It was it was done right. incredibly. The camera work, it was done in a big studio. Uh, there was there was um, CGI effects. The dancing, the movement. Uh -huh. Four million hits in two days. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So here we go again. Now, okay. why do you think that went viral and got so many viewers? What is your, all of you, I want to get your feedback. What is the reason for this? Do you want me to go first? So did he, did he I'll, I'll let you go first. Well, what does the public want from what us? Well, okay, here we go. all I know is once I had some germs and they went viral, they went viral too, but I didn't make any money on it. <laughs> I don't know how these guys are making so much money on their viruses and stuff. <laughs> so because it's, it's the innuendos verbally that's coming oh, out not of the their innuendos. mouth, maybe? Oh, the innuendos. Oh. So you pay extra for that? Uh, I don't know. What do you think? I can't top that. <laughs> <laughs> That's very funny. But I, I mean, it's you know, it's always either it's 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 got to be uh, sexy and it's got to have some uh, comedy to it. It has uh, to be. It has to have well, a flair to it. Here we it. go. Excuse me. Uh, sexy. Uh, Everything we have out there today, if there isn't any into any uh, anything about sex, then it's not going to become a hit, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, we have Even, a little sexy side. Well, for David, it. you look sexy in that. Yeah, sexy. Of Thank course. you. Yeah, Nadia, <laughs> Nadia was sexy. Well, Courtney yeah. was sexy. Oh, Nadia is very Lena sexy. Lena's sexy. Well, she's sexy. Nadia Sahari. Annette right. was like doing her thing too. I played the <laughs> blind person. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, the poor person. Annette, poor Annette. They told her, you have so much talent, you just don't know what to do with it. And <laughs> Annette came to me and she said almost the same thing. She said, you have no talent, we don't know what to do with you. <laughs> it's almost the same thing. So almost the same right. thing. It was encouraging, I must say. In kind of I, a weird sort of slapback way. I like your necklace. Well, thank you. I like his necklace too. <laughs> if you like it, I'll give it to you for Christmas. Oh, it's very eye catching. Well, thank you. Okay. 
So, David, what's your gift to Nadia for Christmas? My gift to Nadia for Christmas? Oh, I couldn't tell you yet. I couldn't tell you yet. Oh, couldn't you're going to give her a big surprise? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We oh, can't yes. say it. Otherwise, she'll try to talk me. She'll try to talk me. Mm hmm. Because I gave her can of worms last year. She gave me two can of worms. Back. <laughs> so I know she's going to try to talk me this year, so I'm just going to keep it a little secret. <laughs> So when we're closing, we're going to get her in here, Ooh. you can say. And That's my Christmas present. We, and we're going to sing our chorus. We will. We'll put the we'll Mary we'll, in yeah, Merry we'll do Christmas. That. We'll All of us will anyhow. sing it. Okay. Really? Yes. So. I'll, I'll direct you. Okay. That's right. Okay, can't just when, be me getting it wrong. It's got to be some other blokes okay, getting it wrong listen, with me. Listen, let's get back to the video. When yeah. are you going to get it It's so close. YouTube? We're here. We're ready. We're. I'm just doing a little nips and tucks. Okay. It's not, it's really, it's close. Okay. So. You should try getting it up. We're going to, we're going to get it up before this Thanksgiving. This week. This week? This week come. Really? Well, maybe even this weekend. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yes. You're really good. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's done, it's actually pretty done now, but I need to really. How did, you had so much footage. How did you ever get it together so I, bad? I've been an editor for 25 years, 30 years almost, 25. And, it comes and wait, them. where did you get the dog with the wreath? How did uh, who's dog? Well, ah, the dog. The, the dog is that your dog, dog, David? No, no the dog was a blessing. The, the dog, dog was, was a blessing because the lady was yelling at us. Yeah, yeah, she lady. said, we don't like you filming here. We don't like you wrecking our bushes. We'd like <laughs> you just like, trolley off, trolley off all y'all. I was like, and, be nice, be nice. It's the holidays. And, and so I ran, I ran up the street scared, and I hid behind a building. <laughs> And Ron um, sweet talked her. He sweet talked her. And uh, <laughs> it just so happened, it took just long enough for a fella to walk by with the dog. He said, I'd love to have a Christmas picture with you. And I said, We'd love to have your dog in the video. And he says, All right. And so it was How did you get the hands. wreath in the mouth? Well, I was no problem. I, I couldn't <laughs> believe it. The dog was what, trained. Did you just stuff the no, no, the dog was trained. So it was perfect. We couldn't hide a better dog. We couldn't have, yeah, we couldn't find a better dog. You know, everything was with us on this video, everything worked out. Hmm. Most important. David. David. The star. David, you're going to be the yes. next star, David. The star, David. The star, you're David. Be the star, the David. Next star coming yes. up, which is wonderful. Dave came through. Someday I'm going to learn to wear Full on, full on. Dave. And Nadia, of course, so, she, she she gave us the whole place, the location, everything. Well, of course. And her that's oh, yes, yeah. Nadia. Thank as you, well Nadia. As other things. Yeah, we thank her for that. It shows. And she was the and Snow Queen yeah. in the video. Okay, right. now I want to ask you, what is underway next after this? Did God, you we, if think we get of through this, anything? Well, we want to really promote this, uh, and and I believe that we've got two stars with David and Nadia. Do you not? Oh yeah, what we're talking.